Anyone listening right now is either dealing with you know pain or has a family member or someone close to them. Is there any advice where to start? Where to, is it to find yeah. you, or is it just any yeah. kind of advice you can well, give them? Well, I love when people reach out. So reach out to me, um, whether it's through my website amberlylago.com or through Instagram DM amberlylago motivation. Um, but reach out if you don't reach out to me like I and I know it's hard when you're in pain or you're depressed the hardest thing for me to do was to reach out and it takes a lot of courage but it changed my life um, you know I have people that have asked what's the boldest thing you've ever done and I mean I've jumped out of an airplane I bungee jumped I used to be addicted to the mechanical bull but the, seriously, it was, it was crazy. But the bravest thing I've ever done was to admit that I was not okay. Like I needed help and to reach out to one person. If that person doesn't respond or you don't hear back because that happened to me, like I reached out to somebody and they were like, yeah, I'm going to help you. I'm going to get back to you next week. And they never reached out. I had to reach out again. And I had to, the, the thing is, you have to be willing, you know, someone you have to, like, I had to go through it myself. I had to do the work myself and I had to start to slowly build that community around me. Um, but yeah, just reach out, reach out. And all it takes really is just to be willing to do it. That's all it takes. Some humility and some willingness and you can thrive. And you feel like that's the most important thing is reaching out or is there any advice you'd give internally to start that process of healing? Um, to start the process yeah. of healing? Well, what I do every single day, um, because I don't think that I would be where I am today and the, the blessing of being able to sit here with you if I didn't have a morning routine and an afternoon and a nightly routine. But I start in the morning and I do an, a, an affirmation. And I think that an affirmation is it starts to help you to believe in yourself and to change the way you think. Um, because we were talking about mindset earlier and you were saying how you don't listen to that voice telling you that, oh, it's cold or I'd rather stay in bed. You have to really shift your mindset. And, um, you know, my mind can tell me some pretty crazy stuff and some really, I mean, I can be so hard on myself. And so if I start with an affirmation, even if I don't believe it, if I repeat it over time, I'm going to start to believe it. I write in my journal this morning. I didn't have much time. I wrote what I could in my journal. And that the main thing I wrote was I got my priority state straight, mm -hmm. that I have to focus on my health first and family, then yeah. work, like get your priorities. And I read out of some spiritual books every single day and I meditate. And that may, that may seem like a lot. Mm -hmm. And to me, it does seem like a lot. Like the other day I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I'm running late. Screw the daily morning routine. I just got to do this. And I fell down trying to sit on the toilet. No joke. And I was like, okay, universe, I will still do my morning routine. Yeah. I hear you. It was like, I have to be knocked over the head sometimes to get it, you know? But well, it's just like, like going to the gym, right? If yeah. you go to a plan and you walk into the gym, you're probably not going to get a lot done. Yeah. But if you have if you have it set what you're going to do and set your attention then I, I think that's important yeah. yeah and that's a question I get asked a lot mm -hmm. through DM mostly is well how do you work out when you're in pain how do you work out when you're not having a good day well I do what I can mm -hmm. I, you know I love that quote start where you are use what you have and do what you can okay. There are days where I can't do anything for my lower body, but I'm still at the gym doing everything I can for my upper body in the hospital. Yeah. I had a pull-up bar installed over my hospital bed, and I had dumbbells. And no matter what, I was doing what I could. Yeah. And that helped me mentally. Do you ever use that? Because um, I use it a lot with people is, is you get to do this. That's what you I do. You get to work out. I, get, I use that for myself. Yeah. I'm like... Oh, I have to climb that mountain to hike. And I'm like, no, I get to hike today. I get to work out. Yep. I, you know, I use that a lot. It yep. really helps. That's amazing. Yeah. So, and on the mindset piece, I started telling me, and people joke about it. I hate getting sick. I'm like the biggest baby about getting a cold. 
I've like told myself over and over again, like, I'm not going to get sick. I'm just, I'm just I do that to get too. Sick. Just I so do that too. And hey, if it works, it, you know, I've been, I'm like two years now. I don't think without any kind of cold or anything. And um, it's been great. But it is, it is amazing how much like setting, even if it's the, you know, something like that, setting that attempt can yeah. you know, get you not to focus in on it. So yeah. 